What up guys, good morning today. David is joining me again, because he's been doing kickboxing and so have I. And David's been begging me, he's like, dude man, I'm gonna do kickboxing, but I don't think I'm getting in enough strength and conditioning. I don't think I'm working out my muscles enough, getting strong, and I'm like, David, I'm really busy. I don't even want you to join me. But fine, you can come and join me. I'll show you the receipts. He goes, hey man, you wanna do a barbell video at 7 a.m.? I was like, I guess. <laughs> come on, David, it's gonna be good for you, dude. These guys are gonna kill me. No, so David, he's doing really good. He lost a ton of weight. But because he has weak ass, bitch ass, pussy ass fucking muscles, he has all these joint problems. Like his knee hurts, his shoulder hurts, and that's all can be solved through strength and conditioning. That's why it's important to strengthen your body so you can do all these endeavors that you want. I actually hurt my shoulder blade a little bit right when I came in here because I was fucking around on the back. But that's all good though, you know what I'm saying? That's what happens sometimes when you're too strong. Your, your body can't contain your strength. Uh, is that what it is? Absolutely not. <laughs> throw, throw it on that one. Throw it on that one. Oops. Oh god, it wrapped around twice. Oh. Oh, you I guess so. Can you do a uh, pull? I don't know. Well, I, I don't know if I can right now because I actually have a torn labrum on my, on my shoulder blade. Labrum, shrabrum. Yeah, you don't give a fuck about me, Andrew. That should be like... Squeeze your triceps. To warm up the triceps. It's gonna be more upper body focused today, because I know you're gonna have a Muay Thai class after. Good workout, bro. And then we're gonna do facing balls. Hey, dude. I'm doing face pulls. So make it slightly taut and then pull back like this. <laughs> this is a warm up. All right. All right. This is why your shoulder got problems. This is why you got problems. Now you got to warm up your shoulders. Quick. And then. Behind and do flies for 20 reps. Squeeze your chest. Put your shoulders back still. So don't don't cave in like this. It's still shoulders back, but you're doing flies. You should feel it right here. David already complaining? David always complains. He complained the minute he walked in this morning. He walked in and he was like, what are we doing up so early? I'm like, dude, we're training late. Mark Wahlberg trains at 4 a.m. Mark Wahlberg is also a little bitch, all right? How about that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have to peep my ass. <laughs> right now, uh, hold it like this. And slowly bring it over your head, behind you, and then slowly come back down. This warm up your shoulders, yeah. Slowly, 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 Man, I do like nine. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we'll start off the workout with the bench, with some bench, so you'll feel fresh still for uh, your class. All right. <laughs> Looks delicious. Yum. So we're gonna hit a heavy single. Then we're gonna do a three by five and then a two by ten after. I don't know if I can do a heavy single box try. Whatever single is smooth and safe for you. All right, 10 pounds a day. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, ow, my shoulder blade actually hurts. Really? You could do something else. If you're it's being a pussy, you could always do something else. Yeah, I like pussy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like a, I like a big of pussy shit. Damn, what's the last time I fucking did one of these, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, we got like 45 on these already? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. David always has to be Always. Damn! A part one appetizer. <laughs> Right, we don't take that. That's right. These are actually heavier than those bigger ones. These are about 78 pounds. It's a very odd number to have for a what do you call these? Weight? Oh. Let's go, David. Shoulder blades tight. Nice. Good. That's good, you and Gio are the same strength. Oh, right. <laughs> well, they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're as strong as a pregnant woman. Hey, you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm 100% okay with that. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a butthole anymore after that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a wrist back? Uh, You're next. Come on, dude. We're gonna, we gonna add the. Uh, we gonna leave the 40. The watch all of them. Got them all there. 100-pound plates for the big boy. Let's go, David. Are we doing these three? Oh uh, yeah, we're still warming up, so we'll see. Oh, we're still warming up. Oh, I thought we were actually working out with the fun. No, not yet. Do uh, at least you do one or two, and, and then we'll go from there. He said, no, not yet. <laughs> no, not yet, bitch. Let's go. Still your motherfucker. <laughs> nice, baby. Right. One more. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Hey, what was the last time I did something? 135 pounds. That shit's heavy as fuck to me. <laughs> yeah, we gotta switch over to the 25 place for Bart because he needs to get a little stronger. One day he'll get there. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna open up a barbell myself, but I decided to let the little brother do it first. You know what I'm saying? What's that? Six pounds? Cool. All right, here we go. Let me get a little six pounds for the baby. Go, buddy. My tricks. This is just the, this is the beginning part. Then we have the fun part. I don't think I've ever been able to bench this weight ever in my life. Even at my strongest. What was your strongest at? I could do like 250. Yeah, that's pretty good. That sounds like a high school. That's, that's really good, dude. Good. Let's go, pussy boy. <laughs> I don't know how weight training people talk. Let's go, hamster boy. You know, get on that wheel, spin it around, eat some wood chips. Let's go, hamster man. It depends man. on the style. Oh. There's fools that like smack each other fucking hard and they bang their heads together. And then there's those types, which are usually of the very, very, uh, the fair skin species. Okay. <laughs> and then there's those guys. It seems hella strange, dude. Yeah. And then there's like the silent, like, Russian killers. Mm -hmm. They just like walk up to the bar. And it's like, boom, and it's like 800 pounds. And you're like, what the fuck? Well, and then there's me, like the... there's me who tells jokes, and then I don't even lift the weight. Oh, that looks good on you, dude. Almost, yeah. A large Damn, dog. looking fresh. Model status over here, dog. Yeah, ski boys. <laughs> That's it. I'm a count of three. I'll go one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Oh my Sick god. Go. Let's go with uh, 155. 45 and a 10.
Just one, David. Let's go. Nice. Oh yeah. That should feel like a thousand pounds. No, that was a. That was a light weight. Putting three plates on this shit? Yeah, this is, uh, this is my top set. Holy shit! That's nothing to you, huh? That's right, man! <laughs> this shit look like some anime weights and shit, dude. <laughs> Fucking Goku ass motherfucker. Dude, son. <laughs> Joe Rogan can't 315. Joe Rogan also takes steroids, alright? True. He's also a lot more successful than I am. But <laughs> shit. Put me on your podcast, Joe. I got lots of things to say. You know he's really good at deadlift 405 like five times too. Oh shit. That's really good for a non powerlifter That's Top really five. good. Oh, same thing. Lift off on three. Hmm. Little baby needs help. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's go, Bart. One, two, three. Alright, let's add another 45. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? This is going to be your last one. 155? Oh, uh, we did 155. 165? 175? What do you think? I would say since your first time back, 165. This is a little bit. It's not going to be impressive, anyways. Alright, so there it is. You always need somebody to talk a little shit to you, huh? A little baby boy over here, huh? Is that how it is always working out with Bart? He's always talking shit? No, what it is working out with Bart is hell. Alright, that's what it's like. But, I don't want to untap my true nature around the boy, you know what I'm saying? I gotta stretch out my legs before I do the bench. Saying, excuse the barbell leg stretch. Alright. <laughs> Dude, that's how you pull your muscles. I know, I think I just hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got hurt my hamstrings a little bit. Let's go, David. <laughs> up, 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 up. Nice. Hell yeah. Oh my god, why is it so heavy? Hell yeah, you and Julia are the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that girl. <laughs> that shit was so heavy. Oh my god. I'll tell you what though. I don't got that little extra couple inches of fat to bounce off of. No, that's different, shit. right? That's hella different. Yeah, it feels way different, dude. Can you put another 45 out of 10? Yeah, you gonna do it again? All oh, right. No, no, we're doing a 3x5. That was a warm-up? Yeah, you just wanna fuck around all day, huh? Man, I'll tell you this. This right here is fantastic for people. For me, not so much, man. I don't need it. I'm mentally strong here. I'm weak everywhere else. Let's go, young man. I think he's about five of these. Five, Dave, let's go. Good. Nice! Hell yeah. Nice. It's good. It's more of a workout taking off the plates. <laughs> God damn it. What is this, a 10 or a 5? What's going on here? 5 pounds? Oops. I'm trying to fuck this guy up. Here we go. Steve, you're gonna be doing this next, by the way, so get ready for it, buddy. <laughs> nice, two, three, four, five. 
Oh. Good shit, man. Oh. How you feeling? Tired? You know, my pectoralis dorsissimus being extra tired. What are you doing? 245 what? 245 out of 10. How's the weight feeling after like losing uh, some weight? It just gets heavier and heavier, man. Yeah? Simply because my arms get tired, my chest are tired. However, I'll never be doing this again after this video. So. <laughs> Why, dude? Come on, you gotta keep up. I know, I need to get stronger. Why don't you just show up to Muay Thai like 20 minutes early and get in a little bit of weights right before? This is guy trying to tell me what to do with my life. Huh? A little bit. I should though. I really should. <laughs> just a little. Feel like when you were heavier, it was easier to push the weight. Or? Oh, for sure. When I was heavier, that that extra two inch gap that I didn't have to push, and it gives you a little bounce. So my leverage is a lot better. I mean, it's not here so much. It was just here. Yeah. I could just push up. Yeah, yeah. But man, so even the meat between the triceps and the back, you have a little bit more shock. You get a little, little, little up. Yeah. Still skinny boy. <laughs> Don't get skinny, guys. Fucks up your leverages. Shoulder blade. I fucked around on the heavy back right when I got it. God damn it. Always got something to say. I've always got an excuse. Let's go, David. Five. Yep. Let's go, David. Nice. Oh, fuck. Can you take the 10 off? I'll do one of I didn't know you guys were teaching a yoga class over here. Yeah, that's pretty good, Nats. Oh. Try to do a handstand now. Can you do a handstand? I'll try it. Oh! That was pretty close. I've never done that before. <laughs> Didn't do it though, so it doesn't count. It's so weird when you go light, just so you can do it. Yeah, I can't do that. Do like six stars. Look at all that blood just rushed in. I counted six. Let's go, David. One, two, two, one, <laughs> two. Come on, let's go. I don't even want to survive, maybe. Six, seven, six. <laughs> Let's go, David. Nine. One more. Okay, cool. Why do you make people laugh when there's weights on them? <laughs> You're <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Damn, <that's pretty> cool. <laughs> I can't do certain oats. I can't do certain grains. I can't it. My body was just, it was just so good at, in terms of like... Um, all bread, all yeah. No soda. I haven't had soda. I'm gonna be sore. 
Dude, that's pretty good, dude. Core training, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like a month ago? Yeah. Or like two months ago? And it was so fucking heavy on my neck. It was too heavy. Now? 219. Watch. Bro. <laughs> oh, damn. Muay Thai. Muay Thai, it's good. Those shits are so hard. Oh. There you go. There you go. Go for penis. See, now, in, in this moment, what Bart has to do is, is scream for help. And what he's doing is not what I'm telling him to do. He could ask me for help, but... The Dean is going for the rear naked, but his hand is not over at the back of his neck. It's not sunk into his throat yet. Bart has... Bart is going to squeeze out right here. Watch. He grabs him by the head. This is this wrestling. Uh, There's no such thing as a pin. What do you mean? What do you mean? Did you see that pin? No, you have to do some. You have to actually kick their ass. <laughs> He's gonna go over. He's gonna get full mount. He has full mount. He's gonna wrap his legs around his legs to put all that weight, like a seat belt, right there. Hip push yeah, it the off, uses the wall. The dudes, dude, this is why you should get to jiu-jitsu, dude. Why? Because you're fucking strong. And then he's gonna try, there you go. And after a while, you can try to suck his dick. Now, the dick sucking part doesn't work. Well, you're all out of options there, right? Because right when the guy comes, that's when he gets weak. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't suck dick in jiu-jitsu. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Did it hurt? Yeah, he's kidding me. Oh, he's sorry, he's like... bro. Hey! hey. <laughs> My name's Khabib. Did you like that? That was good. Like that secret move? What was it? Reverse so, rear naked. Ooh. This shit's so painful. That's her? I just show you, this is reverse rear naked. I know what it is, man. Oh. It's not even a choke, it just snaps her neck. Reverse <laughs> I was like, let me show you. I know what it feels like, right? Let me show you. Yeah. yeah. No, no, that's good. Reverse neck, rear neck is fucking hurt like shit. Because with an actual rear naked choke, it just cuts off your carotid arteries. With the reverse, it's just pain. It's like a crank. You just feel your ne neck snap. That's all that it is. What was that real move? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. She fucking hurts. I'm gonna grab a barbell, get 25s on each side. Um, and actually, you know what we'll do? Grab a barbell and put 10s on each side with clips on. Yo, man, what's up with this water bottle, bro? <laughs> How do I do this? Oh, it already came up. Oh, okay. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess, uh... All right, let's move on. <laughs> move on. Grab a barbell, dude. Stop messing around. I don't know which one. There's like seven of them. Grab this one. The one that says barbell brigade? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I shit. set it up on that the tall one right there. This fool grabbed this shit like it was a paperweight. Me around. You have a weight and size, dude. Yeah, but I'm a little pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so get warmed up, do a couple overhead presses. We're gonna go super set here. Hey, I pinned you though. You did? Wrestling's only for high school though. Afterwards, only submissions only. No. Oh god, this is Oh god. That's how it's done, kids. the worst experience of my life. I am so exhausted. I'll tell you this right now. And the guy, yep, I love this shit. This is great. Yeah, man. It's all about that pump. Barbell brigade for life. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a superset overhead press for 10. And then we're gonna go into a goblet lunge. So it'll be here, 10. And then you go over here. I'm gonna try to touch the knees, but you just go down to whatever's comfortable. And this is one. 
Not one, two, three, four. Each pair is one and ten. I'll do one set, I come back, you do it. As soon as you're done, I go. So the faster you finish, the shorter I rest. The faster I finish, the shorter you rest. You're gonna be resting for a long time, man. You're gonna have a Perfect. good. <laughs> you ready? Do I, is, uh, is this one of my, the 30s mine? Yeah, the 30s yours. You, you do the 30s, I'll do the 40s. We're doing how many of the lunges? Oh, we're doing four sets. 10. One, one, two, two, three, three. You ready? You ready, David? Never. Doesn't even matter. His, his questions are all hypothetical. Are you ready? No. Wasn't listening. Wasn't listening. I really do appreciate this. I just, I just, I am so tired. What the fuck is this guy doing, man? This is so dumb. I'll tell you this right now, if he doesn't make a living off of this stuff, oh wait, he has barbell, never mind, it doesn't make any sense. It does make sense, actually. It doesn't make sense for me. Look at this. What are you gonna do? It's like a taika squat. We call these taika squats. Your turn, David. Come on, David. I don't know if I can do these squat, uh, these lunges. If you can't do it, uh, just go halfway. I think halfway might be worse because it's patella tendonitis. So it hurts. Can you do it without uh, weight? Maybe. Try to lunge that way. Uh. Does that hurt? No. It doesn't. Okay, cool. It's easy. That's one. That's one? Yeah. A pair is one. Yeah, you don't know like math, dude. <laughs> I got that jello in this right now. What's wrong with the knees? Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's the music in the fucking workouts getting them, you know what I'm saying? It's all. Damn. It's all you know what I'm saying? Trip walk. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even do it right now. My legs are fucking jello. Oh, Let's go, David. Second set. Yeah. Come on, David. Let's go. I'll take it. There you go, David. Better than nothing. Alright, five pounds left more than last set. Oh, God. 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 Oh,
I saw you. Oh, that's so heavy. I got five on it. There you go. Literally, I got five on it. Oh, she's too heavy. Go to it. <laughs> I got three more. Let's go. Three. <laughs> Two. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it burns hurry like a up, do the You hurry up. Oh, your heart rate goes Being a little bitch, but I know he could do a lot more, so I give him a little 2.5. And some people may laugh at the 2.5, but that's 2.5 more than he's doing before. So if you want to get stronger, or you want to get better, even if it's little by little, I'm still proud of him. That's that, dude. <laughs> My legs, they burn. They burn like a thousand suns. Oh, so it's all right. Has that 2.5 weight feeling? Heavy as fuck. Oh. Any weight is heavyweight for me right now. I got boy tie after this. That's what gave us comes to mark. Basketball. Oh shit. For my right ACL basketball in high school. And I developed patella tendonitis on this knee. Still here though. Feels good though, but 
for rehab, they do say I do need to do a lot of like strength training around the muscles, around my kneecaps that'll help out. Uh, I was supposed to be doing a lot of leg curls and shit like that, stretches. But lunge is supposed to help too, if I can do it. And it turns out today I can do it, so that means rehab is working because I couldn't do lunges before. It's great. Now we're gonna do back and core. And this is specifically important for you because I know you want to get your kicks better. So you want to build that rotational force in your core. So what we're going to do, as my boogers are coming out of my nose, <laughs> we're going to do 10 reps here on, on uh, you know what 10 lay rows are? I know. So it's just like a bent over row, except the weights actually touch the floor gently and try to keep your back straight. So a bent over row looks like this. We're doing like this. Yeah. Ten lay, you're staying here. So it's, it's resetting every time. So you do ten of those, and then we're gonna do windshield wipers. Have you ever done those before? So for a regular person, you would want to keep your legs as straight as possible and go from oh, one side geez. to the other. But if it's hard for you, you can have them bent. But have your knee touch the floor. And once again, one, one. So both sides is one. Two, two, up to ten. All right, let's go, you asshole. Ready? This will build a rotational force in the kick. I did one, so I'm gonna I'm count that towards the other one. for David because he has small weights on. I can see him struggling. So I'll do him a favor. Let's go David! Right. What are you doing? Move him fast! Two! Two! Thank you. 
That much weight is adding up though. I don't believe in shit. Let's go, David. You're a beast. Let's go. Come on, David. Two. Hell yeah, three. Three. Let's go, David. Halfway. Six. Good? Dear God, please help me, Lord. Give me the strength. Like you gave Samson to break down those pillars I needed. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. How's he holding up? He's doing great. He's pushing through. David has this inner beast and warrior in him. It takes a long time to wake that fool up. Like 20 snooze buttons. You gotta tantalize him with food. Ask him to come in about 20 times. But once you awaken the beast, it's right there. And what David doesn't know is, since he's never really done these before, tomorrow his sides are gonna be so fucking sore. We're gonna be laughing all day on Just Kidding News, and he's gonna be crying because it hurts so bad. Let's go, David! <laughs> it adds up. So I was playing around at first. It wasn't so bad. I like to do that in the beginning. We call it sandbagging. So you don't have to do shit. But it's actually getting tiring now. All this little stuff adds up. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. You said you're going to be building that tomorrow for sure. Oh, 100% building this tomorrow. I'm showing up late to JK News. <laughs> oh, 100% I'm showing up late. Let's go, David. Let's go, Bigger, 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 bigger
All right, David. So next is the fun part. And this is the second to last exercise. So this is specifically for your kickboxing. We're gonna do it while more boogers come out. <laughs> what we're gonna do is 10 kettlebell swings and then to 10 kicks into the bag on one leg, 10 kicks in the bag on the other leg. You can kick as hard as you want or as light as you want. The main focus is understanding the hip thrust and then seeing how that force transfers into kicking the bag. And once again, four sets of 10. So 10, and then 10 on this leg, 10 on this leg. Ready to go? Yeah, you can go first. And usually when it's, ooh, David! Where is he going? Usually when it comes to this portion of a circuit, I like to play uh, more EDM -like type stuff because it feels like it's the pace going. Do you have a specific artist you like? I don't listen to EDM ever. What about, in, I don't really listen to EDM media, but I like Chromio. You like Chromio? I don't know what that is. You'll like Chromio. Okay. <laughs> Two things, hip hop and R&B, that's it. Are you gonna kick with shoes or no shoes? Uh, probably no shoes. Okay. I highly recommend putting this on, because it makes it a little bit uh, smoother, so it doesn't rip your hairs off your shins. Okay. Because there's the oil. I'm looking like that. I should have brought my shin pads. You gotta strengthen your shins, David. You gotta take off your shoes. No, there's two Thai guys on. You know it's legit. Anytime you see Thai riding, you know it's fucking legit. And then if you order it and it takes six weeks to get to your house, you know it's, it's legit. legit. <laughs> I know, it smells nice, man. It's gonna give me extra strength. Therapeutic. <laughs> man, there's some strong ass people in this gym, man. I'll tell you something else, man. You guys never weight trained before? It is some hard shit. Because I don't think like weight training for people who don't do it on the regular. And if you're born to like a lot of like anaerobic exercises, it's not as fun. But like the benefits of weight training is great. Like number one, helps out with bone density a lot. So I found that out through my mom's doctor because she has really bad bone density. So she had her upper calcium to start doing a lot of like weight training just to get it nice and tight. So I'm gonna need that too if I expect to hit the stupid ass bag. Seven, 
How much it hurts to hit a hard bag like that. Oh, that's no, no clue how much that hurts. Let's go, David.
Oh yeah, in the lungs, in the fucking lungs. Let's go. Let's go, David. Tell it the This is what I can't do now. Let's go, David. Hey. 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 You got this, David. Hey. 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 I'm so tapped. See, David's a fucking beast. I told you guys. If you ever meet him on the streets, if you want to punk him, punk him for like five minutes. Because if it gets to ten minutes and you awaken the beast in him, he will fuck you up. Punk him up to nine minutes, baby, and then run away. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, David. Your back is hard. Hard on. You stopped the up a lot though. The yeah. first time? Yeah. First time we kicked that shit, that hit shit. I softened it three times a week. You made it like a little manageable. It's still pretty hard though. Certain parts. If you kick the bottom, oh, it's bad. Oh. <laughs> oh, the, the first round was hard. It hurt a lot, but then second round, it, yeah. That shit works, dude. That fucking uh, how much was that? Fucking like one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that shit works. Thai guys and Thai salary. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit, dude, my heart was like. You can get it on Amazon. It comes in a pack of three. Shit, I'm about to get some of that. Yeah. Because it helps, like, it brings uh, uh, blood blood there and there's a little bit of grease. Yeah. So it doesn't feel like you're ripping your skin off on the yeah. back. It just slides. You just can't touch your eyes if you do, you're fucked. <sighs> or your dick. Now we know why you chose to do 7 a.m. It's, it's a lot more manageable. Yeah, 10 a.m. gets packed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. can't do the kicks yeah. right yeah. I woke up, though. Proud of you, dude. So we have one last exercise. It's oh, easy. Fuck, easy. Oh, it's really easy. <laughs> it's really easy. Really, really okay. easy. Ready to finish it? Yeah, let's do it. It's just arms. It's just to look good on Instagram. So you get more followers. It doesn't really do much for any athleticism, but it makes you look like you beat someone's ass. Oh, let's do it. We're gonna do a quick circuit. So it'll be arms, 10 arms, uh, 10 triceps, 10 shoulder raises. I'll do 15, it's a little bit lighter. And then uh, when you're done, it goes to me, the same thing back and forth, four rounds. And choose whatever weight you want. Okay.
raise these? What am I doing exactly? Like uh, so you want to keep your shoulders back, chest up a little bit, and then when you're going up up here, think about raising something with their elbows. A lot of people they focus on their hands and then they start getting a pump here, so you're using the wrong muscle. Think about raising something with their elbows. When you get to the top, I pretend like I'm pouring tea and you'll feel like they're pumping the shoulder. Yep, just like that. There you go, hell yeah. For the shoulders, you'll see a lot of boxers doing it on the shoulder workouts. One, it keeps your hands up, and also when you're throwing hooks, this your hook is only as strong as your shoulder. Yeah. So if you have a weak shoulder and you throw a hook and it crumbles, you're gonna lose all your power. So that's why these are actually really important for fighting. You want to throw a strong hook and your strong shoulders. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. the last exercise easier. It burns a little though. It does, yeah. Uh, the next one you're gonna do the raises. They're 
gonna keep our abs flex on the feet in the sun. Oh shit. <laughs> there was no smiling. I don't know what he's joking, dude. I'm gonna get this crazy about that Thailand though. Oh yeah, for sure. What the? What the? Yeah, they be doing some the? crazy shit. Are you happy this is almost over? I am very happy, but uh, it took me like three workouts to finally get warmed up. I actually feel the best right now. <laughs> it's hard, man, working out at 7 a.m. in the morning. It's a difficult grind, though. All you parents out there that have kids and work out before you get your day started, shout outs to you, man. I don't even have kids and I don't even have that discipline yet, but this is great. I feel good. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be thankful later. <laughs> really proud of him so I've been asking David to join me for a while and I know it's really hard for David because he's insomniac like he sleeps at 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning so coming in at 7 a.m. is really really difficult for him I'm even proud of him even though I never tell him when he goes and trains Muay Thai at 9 or 10 in the morning because I know even that's hard for him to wake up for um, so for him to be able to come in at 7 a.m. today and put in work and smash through pretty much a full body workout. I'm super proud of David. And David's always trying to baby his shins. And I'm like, what's the point of knowing all this technique? It's like a boxer that's really good, but then he hits something, he's like, ow! You know, there's no point. What's the point of being able to throw a kick and you kick someone in the nuts and your shins hurt more than the nuts? So I wanted to strengthen his shins a little bit and the inner beast woke up and he smashed that bag. Super proud of David. And we're done. What you feels like? Hell yeah, dude. Uh. So we're finally done. Super proud of David. I'm so came in and killed it. Guess how long that whole body workout took us? Six hours. It was only like an hour and ten minutes. I'll tell you right now, it's already the next day. No, it's not. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? You could do this like two or three times a week and you'll strengthen your entire body in pretty much less than an hour. Like if you weren't doing it with a partner and you rested even less, you'd probably do it in like 45 minutes. Oh, I wouldn't rest less. If I was a partner here, that's always why I kept going. If there's no partner here, it's just me and myself. And myself is the worst workout partner ever. <laughs> well, I'm really proud of Dave, we hit legs. Um, oh, you know why I started doing those lunges? Cause like I could squat a decent amount. And then I found out that's just brute strength. So when it was time for me to slip, I didn't have good articulation, like controlling one leg at a time. And yeah. also for like uppercuts, like body shots, um, I was using both legs. Once I started doing lunges, my like drive off one leg was way stronger. I think my, my, my knee feels pretty good from those lunges. I think it's just, it's got a lot of blood flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like that knee pain that I usually felt, it's like a lot better right now. Yeah. So. Don't go too heavy, just, you know, just do body it. Weight yeah, and body weight, just get a lot of blood, a lot of volume. If you could do 10 sets of 10, that'd be awesome. Yeah. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on it. You just gotta make sure that the muscle keeps moving so it doesn't deteriorate. Yeah, knee feels better. Man, that was tiring though. Oh, you know, in the beginning, like I mentioned before, it's fucking around a lot. <laughs> it actually started getting tiring towards the kicks. <laughs> yeah. The kicks is like when my heart was like beating yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking hard, dude. That's when I was actually tired. Oh, fucking shit. That's when you gotta do them the most, because if you're ever in a fight, like, you, these are your most powerful weapons, you gotta be able to throw them even when you're tired. It's funny with kicks too, like, when you first start off, you're very mindful of form. After all, I just gotta get my leg up there. I just get the leg up. And you know what's ironic? <laughs> when you aren't mindful of form, and you're just throwing it, that's when your technique's the best. <laughs> it's just like just going at it. Yeah, because huh? when you're thinking about it, you're flat-footed or whatever, but when you just start, like, you just start wailing, you come up on your toes, yeah. your hips, 
Let's move. Oh, I'm super proud of David. And uh, he's gonna come back again tomorrow and the day after that <laughs> and next week. We got JK News tomorrow, which I'm gonna show up an hour late now. <laughs> <Just> God <laughs> damn it! I try. I like JK News, man. It's the best show on earth. Go Barbell. check that out if you haven't watched it yet. Come to Barbell. Yeah. So if you like our content, don't forget to support the brand. Oh, oh yeah. This is a sneak peek of what's dropping Black Friday. Ooh. This shirt and also that lightweight bomber jacket, it's the Element Collection, dropping exactly at 12. So 11.59 on Thanksgiving, right when it's the minutes Black Friday, 12, 12, 1. Be there, because everything's probably gonna be gone in like the first hour. That's you not a joke, it actually disappears real fucking fast. Yeah, so make sure you go there, barbellbrigade.com, and there's also early uh, newsletter you can sign up for. See you guys next time, peace.